Right now, I have no idea where I am, and all I've got is an iPhone 1. Here's how I got here. Six months ago, I uploaded a video where I used the first ever iPhone as my only phone for one week straight. However, quite a few people commented saying I was cheating because I was still using other technology, and they were saying it was way too easy. So today, I decided to step it up a notch by leaving myself stranded in London for 24 hours with just an iPhone 1 and nothing else. So to start, I went to my friend Finn's house, who took my iPhone off me, put it in the safe box, randomized the code whilst I wasn't looking, and locked it with him being the only person that knew the password. Next, he blindfolded me with a pair of my own shorts and booked us a taxi to a random location of his choice. I then got out, still blindfolded, and led to this exact spot. And now I'm here with just an iPhone 1 stranded in the middle of a park. I genuinely have no idea where I am. Literally, Finn got an Uber and now we're in a park. So I think first things first is we need to find out where we are. Which reminds me, I've also set myself five challenges to do over the next 24 hours with the iPhone 1. From finding Wi-Fi to letting the iPhone decide what I eat, to finding a shop and trying to fix the internet, to getting strangers to take photos of me, and to try and trade in the iPhone 1 back to Apple. But as I just said, first things first, I had to work out where I was. And right now the iPhone had no internet, so we had to do it the old fashioned way with some real life interactions. All right, we're here. I'm just chilling with my iPhone 1. I need to find out where I am though. All right, there's some people coming. I'm gonna ask them. Excuse me. Um, do you know where we are right now? Um, Walpole, Walpole Park. Park. Walpole Park. Um, in Broadway's there. Oh, okay. All right. If Cheers. Trying to get to. Yeah. I don't really know, to be fair. I'm sort of just working out. I've been stranded here, so I'm just trying to work out where I am. Evening uh, Broadway. Okay. Go that way. That's where the tube is, the shopping centre. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'll head that way. Yeah. Thank right. you very much. All right, there we go. I think I know where I am now. So, with them two women's help, we now knew a location Walpole Park at Ealing Broadway, a place that was initially the grounds of Fitzhanger Manor, and now it was the home of me and my iPhone 1. I've actually never been here before so i'm just going to where them women said so there's shops and a high road there my phone is pretty much useless right now for some reason the internet doesn't work on this it literally has 2g but when i go into safari this is all i get could not activate your cellular data network so i'm gonna have to try fix that later so i walked for about five minutes and we found the shops the women were talking about now i was just hoping one had wi-fi should we try starbucks oh look at this free wi-fi for everyone all right let's go in so no apple pay available today it's going for the card excuse me is there um you have wi-fi in here yes starbucks wi-fi yeah is there no password no password oh perfect Perfect. So I sat down, opened my settings, connected to the Wi-Fi. We're connected. Is that is it that easy? It's not come up there. Of course, I spoke too soon. It wasn't that easy. Error. Hotspot login cannot open the page because it's not been established to a secure connection to the server. Wi-Fi doesn't work. It won't let me log in. Challenge one. I thought we passed it. We haven't. We've still got no Wi-Fi. Also, since the last video, I've actually managed to get some apps onto the phone. So we've got a couple games. We've got an air hockey game. You can literally just play air hockey. Look at this. We've got this game called iDonut, which is literally just a donut and then you just tap it and it eats it. This is literally what apps were like in 2008. So we didn't complete our first challenge of trying to get Wi-Fi. So we're gonna have to go for a different approach. All right, so we've walked down the road a bit. We've got a McDonald's here. So McDonald's will definitely have Wi-Fi, but I think we're just gonna have the same issue again. I mean, we'll give it a go. Oh wait, look at this. It's one of the Amazon Fresh shops. Will they let me in with an iPhone 1? I don't, I've never been in one of these before, but I think you have to scan like your Amazon account. I don't have an Amazon account on this phone. I don't even have internet on this phone. Can we not come in here if we don't have the Amazon app on our phone? Yeah. I don't have internet, that's the problem on this thing. Oh, you got free Wi-Fi? Yeah. Oh, it's sick. All right, let me try that. We've actually got Wi-Fi. They have Wi-Fi in there and it works. I mean, I still can't go in the shop though because I don't have the app, but we can now see exactly where we are. So it still can't tell my location, but as you can see, this was a park we were in. This is where the Starbucks was that we just were. And if we go up the road here, here's Amazon Fresh. So if we zoom out, I can now see there is actually a train station quite nearby. So I think we need to help on that train, which is this direction. All right. I guess we're gonna find out. Finn was literally giving me no help or clues. But on the bright side, we did complete our first challenge by getting Wi-Fi. And after wandering around for a while, I found the train station. I headed inside and worked out the route I was gonna take. I don't really know where I'm going to be fair. I just wanna I just wanna get into somewhere I know a bit more. So I headed onto the trains to try and find somewhere a bit more familiar. I waited with the iPhone one, playing one of the few games I had, and eventually I ended up in Knightsbridge. Alright, so we're now in Knightsbridge. Here I'm just a bit more comfortable. I know my surroundings. And that's because this is the home of the most expensive shop in London, Harry. Which obviously I should been all the time. So I went round to the entrance and found this. What the hell? Gucci and Balenciaga. This is double the flex. You're not just flexing Gucci, you're also flexing Balenciaga at the same time. So I went in and felt like I was in heaven. There was Gucci and Balenciaga coats, Gucci and Balenciaga shoes, even the carpets were Gucci. But whilst we're here, I decided to start on another challenge. So I gave my phone to Finn and asked him to take a photo for me, starting the challenge with him being the first stranger to take a photo of me on the iPhone 1. And here's the photo. It's actually pretty good. I was having the time of my life with an iPhone 1 in the most expensive shop in London. However, I then 
then decided to leave and to try and get some more photos taken of me. Found these Christmas trees here. So I'm just gonna ask a stranger to take a photo of me next to a Christmas tree. Let's see how they react when I give them an iPhone 1. So I tried and got rejected, but tried again and they said yes. She took the pictures of me on my iPhone 1 and she was getting angles. She didn't just take one photo, she took three. He's going straight on Instagram. All right, that's photo number two done. Just need three more now. So for the third photo, we headed into Hyde Park and I searched someone to take my picture. Excuse me, could you take a photo of me just by this tree? And for this one, I decided to add some spice. And by spice, I mean leaves. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Photo number three done. Looks good. Got the leaves going up. It is a bit blurry, but it's an iPhone 1. What do you expect? We then decided to leave to go to an Apple shop. However, it was a 40 minute walk. So we decided to get a taxi. But obviously I couldn't order one on my iPhone 1. So we had to try and wave one down. Do we go up to it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I jumped in and he took us all the way to the Apple shop. And there we go, we've made it. So I'm thinking we go to the Apple store and see what even my iPhone 1. Maybe I'll ask if I can do a little upgrade. All right, here we go. So I entered the Apple store with the iPhone 1. This is probably the first time this phone's been back in an Apple store since 2008. I had a look at the new phones comparing my phones to them and then i saw this starting from 699 or 27 pound a month with trading maybe i can trade in my phone excuse me right. um you see the uh trading thing right the trading is that for any any iphone you, you can trade in to yeah, get you can just select the model oh, okay let's see my own if my model's not on here does that mean you don't take it it's not because i got the um i got this the iphone 2g Oh, we don't. You don't accept that? That's vintage. They don't accept the iPhone 1. Guess we are stuck with this. Yes, we were indeed. However, we did complete another challenge. Apple may not have accepted the phone, but we did take it back to the store and we tried, okay? But don't worry, I made sure the trip wasn't wasted. Maybe we should get someone to take a photo of us in here. Excuse me, would you be able to just take a photo of me by that tree? Okay. Yeah, yeah thanks. I gave the Apple employee my phone. He took my photo. He was getting the angle. I mean, look at this. This is dedication. And then he had this to say to me. Thank you. This is a very vintage device. Yeah, I know. Is there a pause or, or, or I, iPhone, iPhone 2G. Ooh. Yeah. And with that, another photo was taken. Photo number four, done. We only need one more now. And I then went on the search for our final photos location. So I went around the streets of London looking for a good spot. So I'm actually going to put these on my Instagram. So if you haven't already, go and follow me on Instagram and go like these photos because they're such bad quality. I don't think many people are going to like them. So please, like my Instagram photos. Yeah, we kept walking around for about half an hour trying to find a good Christmassy spot for my Instagram. And eventually we ended up in Covent Garden. This place was so Christmassy. There were so many spots for photos. So I found someone for the last time Ask them to take my photo and they did it. And just like that, our final photo was done. My Instagram's ready. Ready for a new Instagram upload. So go follow me on Instagram, see all of them. Yeah, challenge three out of five complete. We were on a roll. So we then went and did another challenge, which was let the iPhone pick what we eat. So we let the iPhone pick between Pasta Browns and Wagamamas. I managed to get this app on here, which is literally just a coin flip app. And you literally just press this and it goes either heads or tails. Let's see what the coin wants. Heads for Wagamamas, tails for Pasta Brown. All right, it's spun. Heads. Swagger mamas. So we went in, ordered our food, and I was also charging up my camera battery. So all this footage is from the iPhone 1, as you can tell. But we were eating good, and we ticked off our fourth challenge of the day. And we were only left with one more challenge to complete. However, I was going to have to do it alone. All right, so we're finished Swagger mamas now. We've come out, and it's time. Finn is heading home. I'm left here with the iPhone 1 on my own now. This is where it's actually surviving, because before I've had Finn. However, now I'm literally on my own. So we said our goodbyes, and I then walked back the exact same way I came to try and complete the last challenge of finding a phone shop and fixing this phone's internet. All right. Right, guys, I spotted it. The e shop is here. There it is. Let's head in and see if they can fix my phone. So I went in and explained the situation. I got this iPhone uh, 2G, right? But the internet doesn't seem to work. And they just started asking me a lot of questions. Why iPhone is that 2G? 2G, yeah. And they've never worked on the phone. Well, I only bought it recently, so I don't know. How much did you get the phone? Uh, like 150 pounds. You paid 150 pounds for that? Yeah. These guys are literally violating me for in £150 for my iPhone 1. Also, since we got to this point in the video, I want to let you guys know, I know it's not called the iPhone 1. Technically, it's called the iPhone 2G. But I like to call it iPhone 1 because it's the first iPhone. Now, I know in the comments, there are going to be a lot of people triggered commenting, there's no such thing as the iPhone 1. It's called the iPhone 2G or the iPhone first generation. Stop calling it the iPhone 1. So for you guys that made it this far in the video, I want you to reply to them comments saying, no, it's called the iPhone 1. Trust me. My dad works for Apple. But yeah, anyway, back on with the video. He then had a look through the phone and said the settings were all fine. They said it may be a phone issue and I should try another SIM card. However, I didn't have another SIM card, so I had nothing else to do other than leave. It's an L, guys. It's a big L. We're now stuck with no internet in the middle of Oxford Street. But on the bright side, we kind of completed this challenge. I mean, we didn't really. But I tried, okay? That all five challenges were attempted. But now with all the challenges out the way and done, all I had to do now was wait out the rest of the 24 hours with the iPhone. I was actually hoping that would work and then I was going to Google cheap hotels and go to one. But now I don't know where to go. I was alone, lost, and had no internet on my phone. At this point, I didn't know what to do. I was walking up and down the road trying to think of a plan. And then this happened. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
because you literally a professional because <laughs> I can't believe this happened. This guy literally Uno reverse carded me and asked me to take a picture. So I decided to help this guy and take his photos. Nice phone. Nice phone. Yeah, look, look at my phone. This is 12 Pro Max. This is iPhone 1. 2G. It's old, very old. And then after that, he kind of got really bossy with me. Okay, you just focus here, yeah? Focus here, I'm gonna walk. Okay. Focus me here. No, you haven't done it Wait, you want a video? Yeah. Yeah, it's video. Let me see. This is a nice phone, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. better than my phone. Better than you know what? He then reviewed the footage and then told me to take more videos of him. A little more from there. Which I did. I mean, I didn't have anything better to do. Not too close, yeah? yeah. And then after about 10 minutes, me and my new boss decided to part. All right, I don't know what just happened. A guy just asked me to be his cameraman. So that was fun, but we're still stranded. It's now 7.30. I've literally been walking around the streets. I don't know where to go. I think the only thing that make me feel better right now is to listen to some music. So I headed into a shop and looked for the headphones. There was a lot of wireless, expensive headphones. But as we learned from the last video, Bluetooth earphones don't work with the iPhone 1. So I was going to have to wear wires. Yes, wearing wires in public. I was going to look broke, but I had to do what I had to do. So I found these retro looking headphones. I bought them, opened them up, put them on, plugged them in, played some Claro in my ears. It's working. Yes, let's go. This was the boost I needed. I was no longer alone. I had Claro in my ears. Thankfully, not the Chemical Brothers. I walked along Oxford Street in search of a hotel. Because I haven't mentioned yet, but one of the rules I gave myself when I started this was I'm not allowed to go home. So when I say I'm stranded for 24 hours, I'm quite I literally stranded. So I walked and walked and walked. Honestly, I walked for a very long time, but eventually it paid off. Right guys, after a lot of walking, I have found a hotel. It is a Hilton, so it's probably gonna be a bit more expensive. I'm gonna go ask how much it is. Yeah, something we don't really appreciate now is that we can literally compare every single hotel in the area with a click of a button on our phone. However, without internet, I couldn't do that. So I had to do it manually. Hi, right. Do you have any um, rooms available tonight? Oh yeah, what are you looking for? What's happening? Just a single, Room, really. So for a single room, it would be 239. Okay, all right. Well, I'm just gonna go check around and I'll be back. Okay. This is why Google exists, so people don't have to do stuff like that. This is literally the broke walk of shame. Asking for a hotel room, realizing it's too expensive, and then having to leave the hotel. I said I'd come back. I was never coming back. Look, it's been a long day. My back hurts, my feet hurt. I'm cold, but I'm not paying £239 for a hotel room. There must be more around here. So I walked around even more and found another one. However, this one was 10 times as fancy. Do you have any rooms available for tonight? I have three. Uh, no, it's okay. Thank you. Thanks. Amber. Okay, cheers. Oh, once again, the embarrassment. But this one was double the price of the last one. And she could really tell I was broke. So I wandered around and tried to find this cheaper hotel she was saying about. And I discovered it, so I went in praying it was cheaper. Do you have any uh, rooms available for tonight? Okay. Yeah, so we have rooms here. Yeah. What's the, how much is it gonna be? And then my camera died and the only other thing I had was the iPhone 1, so I had to film on that. So apologies about the audio. Okay, so, so yeah, yeah, sorry, the prices are the rest are quite low. So I can offer you the cheapest room we got. It's like a room with no window, it's 50 pounds, yeah? And the room with window will be 55 pounds. Uh, I'll get the one with the window, please. 50 pounds for the cheapest room, what a bargain! I decided to splash out and treat myself to a window. The lady at the posh hotel really saved us. Right, we have done it, we have got ourselves a hotel. 55 pounds, what a bargain! Whoa, this is cool. You got a TV, you got a bed. This is a proper bargain. And here I now am in my £55 hotel room. This is actually really nice. It's so hard to see, isn't it? This is why you've always got to shop around, guys. Never go for the first option, even when you've got an iPhone 1. So the time is now 9.30. I don't know how it got this late. I spent a long time walking, but I'm here now. I'm sitting back. I'm relaxing in my nice big bed. I've got the safe here, so my phone is near me, but it is completely locked. I don't know the code. Finn's the only one that knows the code right now, and he's going to text me it tomorrow, so I've got to wait for that. This is the amount of time we've got left until the challenge is over. We've already done 10 hours. I'm actually going to set an alarm to wake me up, so I'm going to set an alarm for about 9.30. So our alarm is on. I'm going to bed. I'll see you in the morning. Well, the alarm works. Our second and final day started. I woke up and we had just under three hours left of the challenge. I'm literally so hungry. I need to go get some food because I haven't ate since Wagamama's yesterday. I'm starving. So I got dressed, packed my stuff and made my way out the hotel and went on the search for some breakfast. I ended up finding Weatherspoons, which is literally just a pub that sells breakfast. So I went in, looked at the menu and usually at Weatherspoons, you order through your phone by scanning the QR code. So I tried to do it on my iPhone 1. However, when this phone was made, I'm pretty sure QR codes just didn't exist. So it doesn't have a QR code scanner. So he has to do it the old fashioned way. 
by going to the bar and ordering. But we got my breakfast. I ate it. I enjoyed it. And after that, we had two hours and 22 minutes left. I didn't really know what to do. I completed the challenges yesterday. So now I was literally just waiting out the clock. And I thought to myself, there's only one place we can spend these last couple of hours. So I jumped on the train, got off and made my way to the British Library. Yes, a, a library. Now I'm sure you're thinking, George, why the British Library? That's such a weird place to end this 24 hour challenge. Well, to be honest, it is. I don't really know why I'm going there. I just thought it'd be funny because my phone's in a book. I don't know. I've been doing this for 24 hours. I'm losing my mind a bit. But let's see what it's like. I made my way in and I'm not going to lie. It was nothing like I expected. I was expecting something that looked like this or even like this. But no, it looked like this. What kind of library is this? There was this old book machine and there were all these books, but they were just locked away. Look at all those chickens. So I found a bench, sat down, got comfortable. We currently have one hour and 12 minutes left. The only book in sight was my English dictionary, which isn't even a book. I was so bored. I read an information leaflet. I then listened to music. I then even tried to go to sleep. At this point, honestly, I just wanted to go home. But I waited and waited and waited, watching the clock tick down. All right, it's nearly time. The 24 hours is almost up. Just three more minutes and it would officially be in 24 hours with this phone. I anxiously watched the clock as it ticks by all the way down to the last seconds. Yeah, I didn't want to set off an alarm in a library. Whose idea was it to finish this challenge in a library? But we had done it. We had finished the challenge. I silently celebrated and then messaged Finn to send me the code, which he then did. There we go. 212. 212. 212. I quickly put it in and retrieved my phone. Yes. Here's the proof that I didn't use this phone for 24 hours. As you can see, we started the challenge on Wednesday afternoon. And then after that, and all of Thursday, I didn't use the phone at all. But we are done. No more iPhone 1. Oh my gosh. I'm getting out of this library right now. We had done it. We had completed the challenge. So I left the library with my iPhone 10. It felt good. We came in here with an iPhone 1. And we're leaving with an iPhone 10. Oh, I've missed you. Never leave me again. It's been a long 24 hours, but now... It's time to go home. And we are now back. It's been about a week since we did the challenge. I've been appreciating my phone for the last week. That's the one thing I like about these challenges. Once I've completed the week or the 24 hours, when I get my phone back, I'm so grateful for it because it's so nice. So if you want to appreciate your phone a bit more, get yourself an iPhone 1 and use that for 24 hours. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this challenge. It was something a bit different for me, but let me know what you thought. And let me know if you want me to do any more videos with the iPhone 1 and what you want to see me do. And also, let me know if you want to see any more videos where I'm stranded with a different phone. And let me know what phone I should do it with next. But yeah, guys, it's been George Mason. If you have enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's been George Mason over. And out. Did someone say catfish? Yeah, that's me. I look six foot, but I'm five foot three. Take a look at my Insta, and you might see a model, a rich kid, but that's not me. I just know my angles and how to pose when in reality, just look at my nose.